Hey guys. So I'm having a lazy day. I didn't feel like getting camera ready, so I'm just doing these like this today. This will be a general love reading. It's for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, the readings are general. They're for the collective. So if something doesn't resonate, just leave it for an aqua who needs to hear it. Remember that there is no gender in Tarot. I'll pull two separate energies here. The first I'll call yours. The second should be your person's. But if they fit better in the opposite, just go ahead and switch sides. The same goes for cross watchers. Make sure to like the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. In the description below and in the pin section of the comments, there's all the information to contact me for private personal readings. I've also linked a friend's channel there, so make sure to check her out. She is freaking awesome. Okay, let's do it. Aquarius in love, please. Alright, we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So your overall energy here is the Three of Pentacles. We have Judgment, Sagittarius energy, the Queen of Cups, Water energy, Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Cups, so that's very interesting. I feel like you're ending one connection and kind of beginning another. I don't think that that was the intention. It's just sort of like, you know, there's an ending here. And this is an emotional connection. I feel like there's, you know, been some longevity to it. But in your mind with this person, it is over and you've learned your lesson. At the same time, it's like you didn't see this coming, but there's this other person here. And I feel like there's a, a really fiery match with this new person. So it's kind of like you're starting something new here, but of course the release your ex card is here because one is I don't think the ex is completely done with you. It's like you feel like it's over and you have to keep your distance, but I feel like they're still talking to you, you know. Um, but they're basically refusing to clear things up. So in your mind, it's kind of time to start this new thing. The problem is because you haven't released this ex, Technically, they would be a third party in this new thing. And some of you are. You started talking to a, maybe a Sagittarius here. It doesn't have to be. Okay, tell me about this other person. This might be a longer reading because I'm going to pull on both of these people just to see who's best for you here. Although it does say release your ex. And, you know, maybe this could be reversed too. Maybe you're... Um, getting out of something and you're trying to get into something but this person's still attached to their ex it could kind of be that way too but let's see so for your new per person we have the world the two of swords the chariot cancer energy the fool aquarius energy the eight of cups Temperance, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, which is Leo energy. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Swords. Yeah, some of you are 
either talking to a Cancer or a Sagittarius or a Leo. Anyway, for this new person, I don't know. They're in the right position. So I don't I don't feel like this new person that you're talking to is the one that needs to release their ex. I feel like this person um they've definitely closed out some type of cycle in life here and they feel a little guarded but they're moving forward, you know. It's like the the only issue with this person is that they're not super emotionally attached right now, you know. I feel it's not that that they're emotionally unavailable. It seems to me more like they're seeking balance and they're just not um, willing to get into anything that's not really serious. I feel like this person is coming from a really chaotic relationship and they're only looking to move towards something where, you know, when they invest their time and their energy, they're actually going to get something good out of it. The Ten of Cups and the Sun, you know, this is somebody who wants joy in their life, happiness. So I can see the attraction to this new person. They have that, you know, page of that, that wands energy. They're very fiery and attractive and about their business. You know, they're not stuck on anybody. They are actually available. They've completely emotionally detached from something here. So if there's just like a new person that you're talking to and you're wondering if they were worth releasing your ex for, I feel like yes. Unless you're not serious because this person has the Ten of Cups the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun. So they're only going to invest in something where they know that they're going to be happy. Okay. Tell me about Aquarius's past person. Three of Swords. Nine of Swords. The Tower. Aries Scorpio energy. The Eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Five of Cups, bottom of the deck we have the Magician, Gemini Energy, Virgo Energy. I don't feel like this person um, is having a great time in life. This ex, this, you know, they're definitely still in your energy. They're still talking to you. But it seems like to me you're talking to, to them about moving on. Maybe they know that you are dealing with another person here because that Three of Cups energy is there and they feel like they're missing an opportunity with you. And they're kind of like waiting for you to make a decision here. This person, I feel like you told this person that you're talking to somebody else here. What's interesting is I think that they're going to kind of go all out and try to pull you back in. We have that devil energy, so they're going to try to, like, tempt you. It's interesting. I feel like they're used to kind of being able to do the breakup and come back. It's almost like this form of manipulation that they go through. It's kind of like when they want to do what they want to do, they break off and they kind of do it, you know? But in their mind, they can kind of, you know, tempt you back into reconciling with them and leave this other person alone. That's the main objective here. So I feel like it's it's less about even wanting to reconcile and it's more about competition with the, the Ace of Wands and the Devil. It's like, I feel like this person wants you even more when they know that you're talking to somebody else here. And now it's like, maybe the decision has always been in their control before and now it's in yours. And I feel like that's a, a fun place for them. Kind of like they thought they were playing a game, but now they're the one up at night and can't sleep, you know? 
waiting around for you to make a decision. Okay. So what's coming up here for Aquarius that they don't see? So we have the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Seven of Wands, the Hierophant, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, King of Swords, the Hangman, Pisces Energy, the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, Virgo energy, bottom of the deck, we have Justice with Libra energy. Mm. Again, you're like forced with a decision. Because technically you have this like third party thing going on. Um, you know, I feel like you had to take a step back. I feel like for a long time you've been, you know, going in cycles with this person and here is where you actually do that. You sort of like sit down and try to really figure out what it is that you want and need here. And it's sort of like paying attention to why you're actually single in this situation, you know. Somewhere here, it's like choosing to protect yourself specifically from this connection. I feel like this is that past connection where you've, you've kind of been stuck for a while. You know, I feel like this person kind of breadcrumbs you in energy. That's how you see it, like... You know, they want you when they want you and they don't when they don't. But something about this, you know, it's like. There it, it's like instead of at first, you're kind of confused, you're not sure what to do, but something about the way this person moves um, when you really sit down and think about it, they're just not the one. So you may even recognize that, like, maybe they don't really want you. They're just finding out that you're going out with new people. And, and of course, you know, now they want to tempt you back just to get you back in this position where you're just always waiting around on them and trying to figure out what they're doing here. It's like you, you know the truth. And the truth is you need to have boundaries with this person. I see you recognizing that. really you know like what's going on here is all in your favor it's like you know maybe you were very good to this person and they've played a lot of games and now things are working out for you and and you know when they work out in your favor they got to work against this other person so you know this person you know with the tower here is really getting what they get this is you know and this is what they deserve and you're starting to recognize that that it's like when you take a step back and you look at things the person that's been playing the games with you is never the person that should have been playing the games. You know, like if if they wanted you, they wouldn't kind of do that. But I feel like there's like some gaslighting and toxicity in the conversation. You know, it's not a person that like takes accountability for their stuff here. And then you have this new individual who seems to kind of have their stuff together. And I feel like in your mind, right now, you don't even need to commit to anybody. You're single. But I feel like when it comes to this person, you do want to release them. You feel like they just straight up don't deserve you with the justice card there. It's like you're starting to figure out that this person does not deserve you. Okay. In the advice, we have the Ace of Cups, Death, which is Scorpio energy, and now have the Queen of Swords. It's like... <laughs> 
So whoever this new person is, again, match. So we have the king, queen of swords. So this person's honest. And there's a lot of temptation. Uh, there, there's something about the two of you that's attractive in the same kind of way. It's like that fiery energy, but also that the conversation is on point. There's The idea here is to start something new and let this old thing end. So I feel like the whole thing, I didn't even need to go through all of this, is like it is in your mind it's really time to release your ex and and get what is owed to you from basically for being a really good person. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're just not really your style. They like to maybe party too much, just do too much. And it seems that they're uncomfortable in the bed that they laid in and you, you are deciding that that's good for them. Okay, we have reconnect. Secrets lurk in the captive shadows deep in the woods. That's what they want to do. And this is a lot like, you know, this with that, that Three of Cups energy, like... We have opportunities unfurl like a fern even without warm sunlight. So I feel you doing like a final release here and moving on to what is actually for you. And yeah, I think your ex is going to be pissed. And that's just what's going to happen here. But this is about you. And I feel like you're just recognizing that there's better out there and they can watch you move towards it. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I'll see you soon.